Oh, I love when a countdown song happens to fade out at just the right moment. Really good, really nice, really convenient for me. Hello, everyone. Welcome. How are you doing on this fine post-Halloween evening? Let me navigate to all the right places on the stream deck. Looks like we're good. Hi. We're going to play more Paper Mario tonight. Um, don't see anyone in just yet, but I know I can expect a couple people. I think I heard my cat. <laughs> I brightened the face cam a little bit. For a while, it was really dark, and I was okay with that. But I brightened the light by one notch and then messed with the camera settings a little bit. And it, it just looks a lot nicer the brighter it is, I think. So I, th I think that what you're really looking for is total washed out white, personally. <laughs> All right. So I don't think there's any point in wasting time. I think that we can just get the dang headphones on, baby. And indulge us in some gamer time. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Paper Mario. Last time we jumped into Shy Guy's toy box for the first time. And we roamed around this little place. We uh, found a toy train. Uh, started getting this place up and running again. Uh, toy train was taken by the Shy Guys and hidden. Um, so the Shy Guys have a star spirit around here somewhere and uh, there's a train that connects these four different stations here and our general goal is to go in and grab all the stuff that the shy guys stole from the kind denizens of Toad Town. so um we're about halfway through that goal based on the stations we cleared out the uh shy guys at the blue and the pink stations and uh we just got access to the green station. So, without further ado, let's go jump it in. Let me through. Where would you like to go? Green station, please, sir. I wonder how many more enemy types we're gonna find here, because there have been a lot of difficult ones. <laughs> Passengers wishing to go to the slot machine, please exit here. I haven't been reading the interlude dialogue like I should. Slot machine. Well, first we gotta go hunting for all of one second. It's a long second. All right, thank you. Stop, peace, go ahead and save because I have proven time and time again I'm not good at this game. <laughs> oh, interesting. Well, I see in the background green, yellow, red, blue, which is just the order that this goes, so. What would happen if I did that in a different order? Because that kind of just matches what's back there. Are there gonna be different panels around that show me different combinations? Because, yeah, you kind of would just go in that order from left to right, right? Let's keep an eye out. All right. What was the third thing? We got the mushroom, the thunder rage, and the soda! Yes! I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, the speedy spin would be killer here. But the normal spin is just fine as well, except when I can't go through anything. Hmm, I wonder what the solution to that is. That's funny. All right. What do you have here, sir? We're gonna go back to Bombette. Just in case you've got any friends, and that you do. Yeah, go ahead and get a multi-bounce in and then uh, finish him off with Bombette. Easy peasy. Oh, that's the first time I've used the multi bounce and I wasn't expecting the ground pound. Oh well. Not quite dead across the board, but we're getting there. <laughs> oh. 
Not an amazing start. <laughs> And I really got to recharge on FP, huh? You know, I actually thought about in between streams going into uh, mystery note. You can't read this. Show it to someone who is very smart. That must be what was stolen by, or potentially was stolen uh, from Rusty. He's a smart guy right next to the entrance to Toad Town. Okay, we got a slot machine. I'm guessing you don't need me to put in here. Yeah, that's hard to time, huh? Great. <laughs> One coin. That's right, baby. Ah! Nope, don't want to speak to you. Got my own things going on okay there's something up at the top of that okay I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to use paracarry to fly over there it was a multi-step process oh come on well that was a lot for four coins huh I had timed slightly better. Oh, a star piece. Uh, th th this was not supposed to be a hidden area, was it? <laughs> I really thought this was just the way forward. But no, that's easier to get to than what appears to be the actual way forward. I think I'm gonna have to do the paracarry thing the other way now. <laughs> Yes? Okay, okay. Soda! Yes. I would go ahead and use that to restore my FP, but, um... Buh -buh. But I'm only two star points away from a full replenish, so we're gonna be okay. Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Okay, so that dictionary goes to Rusty. Um... We're gonna do this again. Um, that dictionary goes to Rusty, and uh, we're gonna fight Shy Guys. Oh, goodness! Lots of Shy Guys! Yeah, I'm not doing that on 5 FP. I'm sorry. 5 FP and 8 HP. Anyway, that dictionary also goes to Rusty, so that's, that's the game's way of routing me toward figuring out what that mystery note says, I assume. What if I do it again, huh? What are you gonna- What are you gonna do to me? More- more- more baby amounts of coins. Do I gotta try different combinations? I really should, huh? Yeah, okay, I guess we're... Yeah, we're not able to go forward. Hmm. How do we get that to come down? Ooh, ooh, guess, guess. The mystery note is gonna tell me what order I actually need to hit these in. And then that's gonna cause those panels back there to drop down and become the, uh, become the, 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 the train tracks. Red, blue, yellow, green. Is that the right guess? Oh, goodness me. <laughs> okay, I just did red, blue, yellow, green. Let's do red, yellow, green, blue. <laughs> you know what? Some of them are higher pitch than others. I don't think they just have an assigned pitch. So, green, red, yellow, blue? Oh, no. Mm. Seems inconsistent what the what the pitch is. Red. Does red always make that noise? Hmm. Hang on. Oh, blue makes that noise. 
Green makes that noise. The only one that didn't make the high-pitched one was red there. I'm really unsure what that means. <laughs> That's weird. See? There's no point in screwing around with the- <laughs> What order did I even just do? <laughs> I really did not expect to actually stumble upon that. But here we are. Um... Show me? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Gotta trim that down. No, 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 no. Come on. Yellow. Green. Red. Blue. Oh, I guess you could tell because I think the pitch was going up per thing. So yellow, green, red, blue. Huh. All right. I'm going to take it. And... I technically don't need to, but I do think I'm still going to go deliver the stuff to Rusty to kill time while uh, people pour in. No, um, I want to see if there's dialogue about the fact that we did not um, even need his help, right? <laughs> He's got to say something that I just figured it out all on my lonesome. <laughs> Because 100% that's what the nose says. Otherwise, you know, the game wouldn't expect you to figure that out. Oh, to your left is a Shy Guy playground, he says. Cute. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go to Smarty Land. Where you at, egghead? Should I get any items while I'm here? It's fine. Uh, I have 92 coins? really thought I'd have less than that. Did I not buy a badge whenever Rolf uh, opened up the shop again? Ralph? <laughs> First attack, group focus. Oh no, these were the options and I was curious about pretty much all of them. Hmm. And by pretty much all of them, I mean pretty much just spin smash. <laughs> I'm gonna save my money for now. God knows I'm juggling way too many, uh, <laughs> way too many items. Oh, yes? A word? You gotta be in one of the corners, right? There we are. All these things that were just sitting under my nose. All right. Hi, friend. I have, I think, two things for you. Curses! Mario! A shy guy stole my dictionary! Please get it back from him. I'm- I'm losing IQ points! There you go. Actually, if you give it- if you give him the note first, he's gonna be like, I can't read that without- <laughs> You'd like me to translate this note for you? Let's see. Aha! It seems to be written in the language of the shy guys. Meow. Well, this would be an easy task if I still had my dictionary, but the shy guys stole it. I tell you what, I'll take care of the note for now. Okay. And then... My dictionary! Uh... He got his IQ points back in his... his his brain power is just so much that it's mucking with the tech around him. Sent out shockwaves that are breaking my capture card. <laughs> just gonna trust for now. Oh, wonderful words. Many thanks, Mario. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Hit yellow, green, red, and then blue. 
Okay. Hmm, that's what the Shy Guy's note says. Oh, well, that's it? Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Then how about the- oh, this is just tutorial stuff. Well, nuts! I was hoping you'd be funny. What is happening? In which I jump down and unhook my capture card. Goodness me. Rusty, can you diagnose my tech problems? I'm sorry, I'm... My field is in linguistics and in knowing where locations are. I could maybe even tell you how the action command works. But I am not well versed in the workings of the EVGA XR1 light. I apparently am not well versed in the location of the USB port. I feel as if Rust T could at least help me with that. Goodness me. Ugh. Don't you mind me. Deactivate. Ugh. <laughs> Bomb deactivated. Have a nice day, Sir Axelrod. That was a joke for me. And any other cars two heads in the audience. Ah, did did it straight on again. Alright, um. So I've had this sort of issue before where the screen will cut in and out, but it's normally only on my end, the display end. It's not on the capture card end, but it is actively going in and out here. Oh, nuts and balls. Let's see. Don't mind me. I'm not really sure how to do this. <laughs> Uh, really hope this is not the part where people are coming in on. Gotta tell ya, had no viewers all night. And then suddenly I get a swarm of 15 all in a row, ready to see some Paper Mario. And they're greeted with this frozen screen and my armpit sitting over the camera as I muck about with my tech. <laughs> All right, I unhooked the USB and rehooked on both ends. From here, if it happens again, I it'll have to be I guess the HDMI in. Um not seeing any issue. Let's see. In point of fact, these two are the granddaughter and grandson of Merlin. Do things that you know already, and I was not reading before the beginning of this. Alright, and I'm gonna... Unless something happens as I put the headphones on and gamer time begins... Uh, we're, we're gonna treat that as working. Uh, don't mind me just awkwardly tapping my ear to remind myself which side, uh, of my face is which as I look into the, uh, camera preview. I specifically, for, you know, aesthetic and, uh, me being the hottest possible gamer, um, reasons, I uh, try to make sure my headphones are over my hair on this end and not on this end. <laughs> Just, I feel like works better with the way my hair falls. Um, anyway, vanity. I, it seems like we're working fine now. Sorry about all that. Sorry specifically to the VOD squad. Won't be cutting any of that out. You're just gonna have to cry about it. All the live viewers, they just, they, they weren't here to see it. So, you know. Luck of the draw there, baby. 
Let me make sure the audio is where it needs to be. Looks like we're good. Okay. Yeah, I think we're fine. Had a had a couple more capture issues in recent uh, recent streams than I'd like, but this thing still continues to be way more reliable than uh than my original Elgato. I was using an original Elgato game capture HD for a very long time. Um, and you know, it treated me fairly well, but there were, it was not the most reliable piece of hardware. It is still what I would have to use if I were recording older games. Thankfully at this point, many of the older games that I would be recording are on Switch Online anyway, but um, so I can just use, use my Switch with the XR1 light. I haven't tried screwing with the Elgato in a very long time. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna head straight back to Red Station. We're leaving all aboard. Okay, so actually I said back to Red Station. Red Station, we're cutting straight through green, baby. Ah, I'm finally here. Welcome, Anya. How you doing, babe? You just barely missed the capture card giving me lots of trouble and me having to mess with it. It's a solid five minutes of me unhooking cables. Tired? Yeah. We're going on a very long, uh, very long train ride. Are you gonna tell me about Red Station? Red Station! That was Reed Station, actually, sorry. All right, this is the last station in Shy Guy's Toy Box. Here we are. Apparently there's nothing of note here except the star piece right there. I've been able to find these rather quickly, which is nice. Okay, so I can go to a left or to a right, I imagine. Mmm, mmm, we got a life block. There's scary things ahead. Red Station is named that for communism. The color is coincidental. <laughs> um, so, at Green Station, there was a, um, at Green Station, the puzzle to unlock the way to the red one was that there were four colored blocks that you had to hit in a certain order. Um, and the way that you learn the correct order is you have to take a note back to, um, one of the smart guys in Toad Town, one of the tutorial fellas, and uh, he would translate the note for you because it's written in Shy Guy, all and such. Um, anyway, I totally guessed the uh, combination. <laughs> no, 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 not yet, come on. This took a couple tries, but I wanted to see if I could do it, and eventually I just accidentally landed on the correct combination and it let me through. So that was fun. That was all whimsical. Really great jump there from normal talk to shy guy ease back to normal. <laughs> I did that bit earlier, but no one was here, so. My girlfriend gets the privilege of me repeating bits for her. All right, left or right first, y'all. We're gonna go left. It being red station and all. Oh, this seems scary. Elevators are horrifying. Okay, is this just gonna be coins or what? Yeah. Okay, I got more out of that than one earlier that I really should have gotten more than four out of. Ah! Okay, that was really bad, but I saw a badge? Fall out, I think. Um. Well, goodness me, y'all. What do we do? Uh, none of the jumping is gonna help me here. Um, we're just gonna do a quick quake hammer, I think. And now, Bo should be able to get the spy guy out. I think you are the biggest threat that she can actually kill. And then from here, I'm thinking... 
Oh, yeah, you summon people. Actually, I should have killed you straight away, huh? Well, that's a damn shame. Um, I'll take out the pyro guy. I think this should deal with him. Yeah. And then we can kill funny little jester man here. Oh, why would I dare give him any other name than grace him with his true one, Groove Guy? Nice. And you're dead. You're dead today. Sorry. If a bit fails, if a bit falls in the stream, but a girlfriend is still driving home and can't hear it, is it still a plus two? That's a lot of, that's a lot of bloody substitution for that to still work. I can't increase BP anymore? Max is 30. All right. I didn't know that. I... It's gonna be HP, I guess, because A, it's the lowest, um, and I keep dying. And B, um, I, I currently have Flower Saver on, so I'm getting a really good bang for my buck on the, on the special attacks anyway. Okay, we're gonna do HP for now. But from here on out, it's not just gonna be an obvious always do, uh, always do BP. All right, when using focus, charges star energy more than usual. Interesting. Why did the capture card go out again? Okay, that badge seems weak. So that's what he was doing earlier. Um, yay! Tech problems, the stream! My favorite event. <sighs> okay, so... I'm gonna unplug both ends of the HDMI. I'm down here. I'm on the floor. My back hurt. It does that anyway. Unrelated to the floor. The floor you would think would be relief. Then we'll also undo the HDMI on the Switch console specifically. I have a feeling that's the problem. And for good measure, we'll rip the switch out of the dock and put it back. Hoping and praying. Now, can we be able to stay stationary with a mic that's distant, distanced correctly from my face? That'd be good. Big sip. Moderately sized sip. Eh, you know what? If it's too much, it ceases to be a sip. So actually, big sip. Somewhere between big sip and small gulp. All right. I hate gay Halloween. What do you mean you're a random shy guy encounter from Paper Mario? <laughs> Deep focus badge. Yeah, I don't foresee myself using that. I was gonna say at least not until I've got some free badge space, but uh, that's not gonna happen anymore, which means I have to actually think about my loadout. I don't think I can use this. Am I gonna get a party member if I keep going left? I <laughs> really would like to use that. <laughs> Someone has come. Someone is here in the dark. Oh, goodness. Oh, could it be? It's Mario. Hmm. Looks like you're mine, Mario. I won't let you go anywhere. Okay. 
that was out of nowhere. <laughs> I'll take care of you quickly, then return to my darkness. I hate the light. So, I'll take you with me to the deep dark. Not gonna lie, this was scared the shit out of me as a kid. Fair! There's no foreshadowing to it either. Um. All right, well, you can hit the lantern. You can't even hit the guy directly. All right. Can you tattle the lantern? Heck, you probably can't tattle the enemy until you hit the lantern, so... We're gonna use Bo to hit the lantern, and then we're gonna bring Goombario out. Oh, that looked like it took several hits. Bo is probably optimal for that, actually. Bo's not the greatest at raw damage, but if you just need quantity of hits, she's definitely better than anyone else. Ow, that light, it's so bright. This is no good. Here, darker and darker. Does that waste your turn? You can't tattle. All right. Um, we're gonna power bounce. Yeah, you need several hits. Looks like five or four. Big lantern ghost. Is a big lantern ghost? A big lantern ghost. He avoids attacks by hiding in the dark. Max HP 40, attack power 5, defense power 0! Your friends, like <clears throat> me, will also be damaged when he does the flash attack. The flash attack's power is 2. Hit the lantern many times to make it brighter, and then you'll be able to attack him. As soon as you can see, hit him right in the head. You're gonna make it darker again. You're... or not. Ooh. And Goombario has been damaged, which means you're out of commission for two turns. What does he mean the partners take damage? Yeah, in this, that means that they are just incapacitated for a short bit. Nominative determinism, I guess. Uh, it's not new, it just hasn't come up a lot. All right, so... Your, your, was your raw attack five? Yeah, I might need you small or, or not. All right, I need Bo back. <laughs> Soon as I can do that. Because in the meantime, I just have to keep doing this to... Now, is the flash attack only a thing it can do whenever... Um... Ooh, goodness. Um, can he only do the flash attack if it's already max brightness, I wonder? We're gonna try Shrink Stomp again, see how it works. I'm feeling like it just doesn't work. Bo, you are the one who lights this place up. <laughs> yeah, seems like I'm pretty much just gonna be doing jump stuff, so. Oh, wow. And now that Bo's out, that sucks. So I should go ahead and get my attack out of the way while I'm charged, because next time he's probably gonna put the lantern out. And it would be a waste of the extra damage to just go for the lantern with it, right? All right, that was pretty good. See, I'm a prophet. This is all about power bounce, huh? Eh, when isn't it? Bo, thank you. Bo when she's knocked out is so funny. That was a really good face. Oh, huh, okay. Nice. Love Merly. Sure, why not another charge? Spook the ghost out of here. It's not gonna happen. Expected.
Ra's attack is dependent on how many life points you pay when you summon it. Summon it. Ah ha ha. Yu-Gi-Oh joke. Was that in response to a thing in the game earlier? Am I gonna kill you this time? Oh, I said raw damage. There you go. Oh, could have. But next time I will. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> oh, I can't even use the hammer in this fight, really, because it only hits the lantern, because it's what's in front. Lame. All right, four. You're dead. Raw attack. Yeah, there you go. 15 star points. Decent ways already there. No! Hi. I can talk to the lantern. Okay. Hi, mister. I'm what? Can I uh get out of here? Hi, mister. I'm what? Can I uh get out of here? Mister. Can I? <laughs> Figured. Hello, hello! You're a baby! What the fuck? Thank you. <laughs> Cute. Yay, I got out! Yay for me! Thanks, mister! Hey, aren't you, um, Mario? You just saved me like a hero! You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest! You saved me from the mean guy who laughed like, wee hee hee! He sure did laugh like that, didn't he? I gotta make it up to you! I'll go with you, Mario, okay? I heard the, um, shy guys saying that you're trying to save Princess Peach from Bowser. You're super great! You're the greatest great guy! I think you're the best! <laughs> I wish someone would say I'm the greatest great gal. So, um, I really want to help. I'll be good, really. And there you go. Been waiting for this one for a little bit. <laughs> You're the greatest great gal. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Press down to have her illuminate the area around you. With her light, you can see invisible blocks, too. Watt is great. While in battle, she can shock enemies with electro dash or paralyze them with power shock. I think... I think Electro Dash ignores defense. Could be wrong. Wait. Oh, sorry. I totally skipped all that. Ooh, it's pretty dark, huh? I kind of like the dark. But um, now I can show you how helpful I can be, okay? Use my power, okay? Lots of okays here. Wow, pretty cool, huh? Look, it's so bright now. <laughs> I bet nobody else can help out like that, huh? Can they? Nope. Now let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't even slow down while you're using her. I was looking for an invisible block there, but she just explained. I would see it. Case in point. Isn't that nice? Yeah, honestly, if I remember correctly, unless you specifically have need for another... Uh, another party member? There's really no point in not just walking around with Watt at all times to see everything. Pretty great party member. Let's see, can I make that with a raw jump? And the game is really intent on just making sure everyone's upgraded. <laughs> Alright. And that's everyone. Mario's posture suggests that he is about to drop kick the baby. <laughs> You're not wrong. Super rank, baby. So what did she learn from that? I don't, I think it told me, but I just did not pay attention because I'm bad at things. Ah, hi. Well, I guess we will learn some things today. Turbo charge, electrically boost Mario's attack power for a short term, for short. Time. Huh. That's pretty big, too. Penetrate defense power and attack an enemy with electricity. Paralyze an enemy with an electric shock. Let's go ahead and try that for the first time on the spy guy back here. Oh, that one needs a lot of 
shocking. Four turns! Wow! Now with that too, we uh we're gonna need some extra help here. Heck, I don't have enough for Bo to or for Bombette to blow everyone up, huh? Yeah, I think I might actually just have to do Star Storm, which makes everything I just did a waste because uh they all have seven HP and that's what this does. If I just use this from turn one, they all die. But whatever. We're about to get to a healing block anyway. And there's another invisible block. Very nice. Volt Shroom electrifies Mario briefly and damages enemies who touch him. That is appropriate. We got two sodas, two maple syrups. I may drop one of the sodas, regrettably. <laughs> I will... No, I won't. There's really no point in me drinking a soda, but I mean, if I'm dropping it anyway. Never turn down a Sprite. No Sprite comes in a blue and yellow can. What's that closest to? Soda! But again, not really a point because there's this block here. All right, before we head to the right, let's first see any invisible blocks in here not looking like it. Oh, hi. Okay. What do you got here for me? A super shroom. Okay, we're dropping something. Um, Probably gonna be the... If it works, paralyzes all enemies for a short time. If it works, dazes and paralyzes all enemies briefly. Alright, we're getting rid of the stopwatch. Dizzy dial appears to be slightly better. Of course, I don't know if Days and Paralyze are two different status effects, but it sure sounded like it. I think they are? Anyway, uh, what I was actually gonna say before we head to the right, uh, I'm gonna need to take a quick break, do the bathroom, fill my water, do all the things. I should be back in just a couple minutes. Uh, and then, I think heading to the right is gonna take us just about to the end of the chapter. I could be wrong. Not sure how close we are, but we're getting there. See y'all in a bit. I had a good pee. It was great. I put my headphones on the wrong way. Come on, flip, the, got, got flipped apart. Flipped apart. It literally doesn't matter, but it kind of does. <laughs> <laughs> I like it on this side. Or at least I like the headphones to be sitting on top on this side. <laughs> All right. Shall we continue? I didn't actually refill my water, but it's got an okay amount left, so. Later, if if needed. All right, we'll get back to gamer time. We're gonna see what's on the right now. Oh, scary land. One shy guy, what will I do? All right, no special things. Gotta do an explosion. Oh, it's the whole squad. Y'all have gotta know if you all swarmed me, then I would be so very dead. Uh, that's, that's not true. I guess Bombette technically would damage every single one of those were they to fight me at once. <laughs> Wowza, I, does Cooper reach that far? Uh, come on, just barely, come on, just barely, just. There's got to be an interim. What, tell me there's a chance. Tell me there's something here, thank you. I was just slightly, slightly off. Hey, we're having to use them together. Even though the distance kind of would have told me that there was something. Anyway, that's all for a shooting star that, okay, it does six. It's just a slightly weaker version of Star Storm. That's not bad. Lightning that strikes all enemies, that's also good. Nuts and balls. Uh, goodbye, Snowmandle. 
Damn, you got the whole squad shy. Oh, I successfully blocked that pellet with Cooper's shell. That's funny. Ah! Oh, no, it was with my jump, but then I was hit by the next one. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the Medi guy first. Okay, you are officially dead, and then Cooper can do a special thing. Daze and paralyze all enemies on the ground. See, that's new to me in that I haven't used Cooper in a very long time. Yeah, we'll try that. Wow, that's hard, actually. Okay, would that have been a three across the board if I did better there, or what? Do a quick hammer. And then Cooper can do a normal power shell. And then next one of either of those will take them out. Quake hammer is one, power shells two, right? And down they go. I did already read out you got the whole squad shy. Yes, because I just need to reiterate that that's really, really good. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> Sleepy sheep, we're okay. We're fine. I'm gonna have to sneeze real quick. One day. Or not, that's fine. <laughs> Before we move forward, what? You got any special secrets for me? No. Looks like we're good. It's nice to use Cooper. I haven't, haven't used him in a while. Uh, this sounds scary. This looks scary. Which is why we're gonna need Goombario to tattle this gigantic... Oh, wait. Do they all congregate in the dark? <laughs> oh wait, I was, it sounded like I was hitting some. All right. Oh, they just surround me. Run, run for it! Ah, help me! <laughs> We're just, cornering a million shy guys and then whenever I get to the end they're gonna have some epic secret weapon or the big guy that's gonna crush me and this is not a winning strategy Mario so you came did you I'm general guy we're following the orders of King Bowser by guarding a star spirit as long as we keep it secure men we have permission to do whatever we want you hear I don't care for you, sir. You are rude, and furthermore, you're trespassing in here. Our toy box is off limits to the likes of you. The treasures inside this box are for shy guys only. And that star spirit's fate is none of your business. Prepare to fight me, sir. This is not as many shy guys as we were facing. Gotta tell you. Taste defeat! Jump! And I'm gonna have to swap to Gambario here at the start. That's my biggest concern. Now that's one one enemy, the horde, right? Come on. Okay, guys, all together now. Let's rush him! Charge! The horde, shy squad. <laughs> Got the whole squad shy, baby. Alright. Oh, come on! <laughs> Tattle him, please. This is the Shy Squad. It'll attack us with all its members at once. Max HP 15, attack power 1, defense power 0. 
The number of times we're attacked will equal the number of shy guys in the squad. Its attack power is huge when there are many guys, but it drops for each one that falls. So the fact that I didn't hit it at all this time is really bad, as is what's going on on the tech side of things. Tech power is huge when there are many guys, but it drops for each one that falls. Let's use an attack that does tons of damage so that we can decrease their numbers and increase our chances. I think the defense was zero. Oh God. So that was more than 15. Cause I successfully defended against some of that. Wow. Pretty much has to be power bounce, right? I'd really, I could really go for a quick change right here and swap Goombario out, but I don't think that's in the cards right at this very moment. I need to get you down to a manageable number. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be at four. That lucky overrode the entire thing? I'm gonna take it. Do not look the gift horse in the wherever it doesn't want you to look. Be respectful. Um. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to just use the super shroom straight ahead. But then Gumbario can do a quick slaughter. Away they go. All right, what's coming out? Mercy, he beat them all up. That surely isn't good. Guess it's up to me. Oh. Wait, is it up to, okay, good. <laughs> I was like, was I giving the general guy voice to that air traffic controller guy? Mario, you sir will pay. You beat my infantry, but that's all you'll do. Prepare for the next wave. Uh-oh. Stilt guys, those are new and extra things for me to tattle. You know, I actually remember this fight being fairly difficult. Specifically because I am such a stickler on always getting the tattle in. Go, attack, stilt guys! Fight, fight, fight! Yes, sir, right away, sir! Yeah, I gotta tattle that and general guy who is... Too bright to attack? You, I just can't get him. All right, he's just gonna chill there while I deal with these guys. It's a stilt guy. Yes, as the name should suggests, yes, stilt guys are shy guys on stilts, which are capitalized in this case. I mean, it seems pretty obvious to me. Thanks, just be seven attack power, four defense power, zero. That four is pretty, pretty brutal, but these will be easy to take out. If you attack them by shaking the ground, they'll fall off their stilts and become normal shy guys. Oh, well, thank you for telling me that, because here comes the uh, quake hammer. <laughs> Do not look a gift horse in the pussy. <laughs> You're always saying this, hun. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, could have been better. Any way I can reliably kill them all here? Only with, uh, only with Bombette, which would use quite a bit of health. Uh, it's quite a bit of FP, so we'll just deal with one here, all right. And then lots of the other one, I suppose. Wow. Well. Gumbario can't do anything that does extra damage now, so we'll just get in our 4 HP. Okay. Certainly could have been worse. Uh, we'll just let Mario focus for now, actually, and then Gumbario can do the killing blow there. Focus charges a lot more than I gave it credit for because I never used focus. Oh, unbelievable! I guess it's time for my special battalion. 
tower guy? Guy tower? Shy Squad Vertical Edition? Shy Column? Ho oh, ho 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 ho! I pity you, sir! It's time you paid, Mario! Attack! Yes, sir! Alright, what are y'all? Shy Stack. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. It's a shy stack. Whoa, this pile has an incredible sense of balance. Look at that stack. Can I shake them down into <laughs> eight shy guys? Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 0. Okay. Um, its attack power equals the number of guys in the stack. It'll be four if there are four shy guys stacked up. If you have the spin hammer ability, you can knock them off one by one. Well, that would have been nice to know before the fight. Stop this beha- well, that one straight up went to no video for no reason. Okay, before Monday, I'm gonna have to spend some of my weekend diagnosing this problem, I suppose. Because that's pretty serious. And I need to know which part of the chain that's in. Uh... Yeah, I, I'm assuming it's got to be the USB, given the weird behavior with the webcam earlier, but that could have had more to do with the USB port. Could be the HDMI cable. I don't know. Not your problem to deal with. That's mine later. So for now, we're just going to run with this occasional interruption and keep going. Knock them off one by one. Obviously, their attack power decreases when there are fewer of them in the stack. I mean, duh! But I can't knock him to the ground like I'd like to with the Quake Hammer, huh? Can I shrink the whole stack? That would be funny looking. Yes! <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I'm gonna do that on the other one too. <laughs> And then y'all should be dead in the next two turns. If I successfully defend, I take no damage. Uh, of course, that means that that leaves room for some other things. <laughs> should I refresh? Do I have any healing? I don't have any healing items. What am I talking about? I don't carry those, apparently. All right, so we're going to refresh and then Gumbari is going to kill one of them. If I had Cooper or someone else out, then would have been able to kill both of those, but that's okay. We kind of just need to keep Gumbario out so that we can tattle all of the sequential uh, new enemies, huh? Of course, on top of everything else, we've got upload problems. Why not? Fine, I'll beat you myself! Nobody embarrasses the brave shy guys of my army! Nobody! <laughs> beat you myself by hiding in my car. General Guy, that ain't him. Is General Guy in his tank? The tank seems to be dangerous even though it's a toy. Well, we're toys right now, you know, to a point. Max HP 30, attack power 4, defense power 2. I was going to say 30 is fairly low, but uh, this fight has been preceded by normal enemies. Not normal. Quite new enemies all in a row. Not only does the general give commands from the tank, but he also throws bombs and uses electric attacks. The power of his electric attack is 5, and your party member takes 2 damage points, so defend yourself carefully. You'll lose the electric attack if we break the light bulb. Normal fighting styles seem irrelevant because the tank is well fortified. So we have to blow up the bulb then. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna do that straight up. And it seems like it's doing normal damage as well. The lantern doesn't have its own HP, does it? 
Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and immediately do the thing I'm trying to disable. Oh, it does have its own HP, which implies its own HP meter, which implies Goombario gets to tattle it. <laughs> I'm gonna try shrink stomping the main guy who can't take damage. Ah! Appeared to not even explode there. All right, I'm gonna try and slowly attack the bulb, hopefully not kill. Naturally. Thanks, Merle. I'm just gonna hope the bulb didn't have its own thing. <laughs> nice. God play the cam. Yeah, it said normal. Normal attacks don't do anything or seem irrelevant because of the fortification of the tank, so I think that's telling me to use what? <laughs> Can I? Paralyze you per chance. No! Wow! That was a lot of resistance. I was I was mashing real fast, I promise you. <laughs> Do I basically just have to stall and survive while Watt does it? Grr, my high-tech tank defenses don't seem to stand up to that electric attack. Quit doing that! It's too powerful. You're breaking the rules of war! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna refresh. Because <laughs> that's the only way I stay alive. God, play the cam. We're all God's toys! <laughs> Please stop throwing bombs. I suppose that I've made that your only ability, huh? Yeah, I I'm, I just have to stall. Oh well, I can do that. I think. That is my last refresh, so if these attacks don't go my way. Does, do any of these work? Does the Thunder Rage bypass? Let's see. Yes, okay. So where on, on the rules of war does cowering in a vehicle the whole time rank? It's probably, probably pretty common. I'm going to try this. That does work, okay. Well, then we've got him next time. No problem. Well, that was a rough go of it. Got pretty close, but unless he's got a scary phase coming up, then we're done. We good? Do we have just you? No. <laughs> Be funny to just beat up the guy himself, though. All right. And the squad goes whack-a-doodle. <laughs> Why'd you turn back? Yay, yippee, we beat the Shy Guys! <laughs> Normal after, like, World War One. Yes, correct. <laughs> you weren't so tough, you silly old Shy Guys. I beat him up. Didn't I, Mario? You did, you were necessary. star spirit is this? Oh, it's the sailor one. All right. That's Shy Guy's toy box, everyone. First we got, are, are there any invisible blocks in the, in the, in the end here? Is there anything in? Queen of ruining moments. Your smile wasn't on the card. Pretty poor representation, I'd say. End of chapter. To save the fourth star spirit, mu mu muscular, muscular. <laughs> A 
it's interesting how they also change, like, th they, they tend to change the C's to K's in these puns as well. Like, why was scholar, scholar? Like, I guess because otherwise it would be the normal word scholar because the R is already in the word. Same with muscular, but like, how does it make it starry? Sky? To save the fourth star spirit, muscular, muscular, <laughs> Mario and team disbanded the gang of Shy Guy's toughs. Slowly, it seems as if the life force is returning to the once bleak night sky. But the stars won't truly shine until the star rod is wrested from Bowser's evil grasp. Three star spirits still await rescue. Where in the world are they being held? All right. You totally just meant Shy Guy Tufts, right? Shy Guy's Tufts? That's weird. Back to Peachy. Hey, Twink, those guards have stopped paying attention to us again. Let's sneak out of here. We might be able to find some news to help Mario. Do you think it's still safe to use that secret path? Don't you think Bowser's figured it out by now? Bowser's a very distracted guy. It's still all right, Twink. Bowser hasn't noticed anything. He looks scary, but he's basically a major bonehead. Let's get out of here. Come on. All right. Where are you taking me this time? Because last time you just had me answer a questionnaire that decided whether Mario got sodas. Singular soda. It is nice that they've now cut out uh, you having to walk through that uh, interim room. People are always addressing me like that. Hey, twink. <laughs> uh, this is where I went the first time I had to sneak around. I guess this is only the second time we've had an actual sneaking portion. Oh, if I remember right, this one's a little weird. Oh, can't go that way. Can I go? Oh, shoot. I guess I just have to not be in the spotlight, huh? Oh, goodness. Where are the flashlights? I'm not here. Does this work? Seems like the only one not. Huh? Who are you? Why, I'm Princess Peach. And who might you be? I don't work for Bowser. Oh, you're Princess Peach. Everyone calls me the gourmet guy for some reason. He's back, baby. <laughs> Listen, I assume that you are one of Bowser's guys, but maybe not. I mean, it's pretty standard for a shy guy to be in Shy Guy's toy box, but does this imply that the cake, he, he was so wowed by the cake that it made him fly up into the sky where Peach's castle is? That's what he's about to explain, isn't he? Because I better report you to King Bowser. You aren't supposed to leave your room. Okay, fine. I was really hoping you were just some guy who ended up here and you were like, well, uh, royal food. <laughs> But I am really hungry. Tell you what, I'll keep this a secret if you make me something really yummy. So, Princess Peach, what do you say? Will you cook me something or what? I'd love to cook for you, Mr. Gourmet Guy, but I have no ingredients and no utensils. I know it's not what it is, but the folds over the belt kind of look like massive tits. They do. They do. <laughs> no ingredients and no utensils. Aw, oh, that's no problem. There's a kitchen one floor below us. It's five star. You can go cook there. Here, you'll need this. This key will open up the door that leads downstairs. Now you can get to the kitchen. Castle key. So I'll just sit here and wait for my yummy meal, okay? Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, uh, there are plenty of guards downstairs, so be careful. I love that I have to deliver this to him as well. You can freely go about the castle, I assume, unless this is like your post. I suppose that's possible as well, but you're just kind of tucked away in this room here. I assume you can just go where you want. Gotta make it hard on me. Do you think if I, uh, 
Do you think if I get caught bringing the food back, they're gonna confiscate the food? All right, where is the kitchen? <gasps> uh. Okay, we got three options. Is this Jolly Roger Bay? Well, here it's... Hello? Is anyone in here? Certainly appears to be someone in there. What do we got here? Last stand badge. When Mario's in danger, he receives only half the damage. And this goes straight into Mario's inventory. <laughs> okay. That's pretty good. Hi! Oh no! I'm caught for sure! Ah, Princess Peach, you're okay! Thank the stars! This is not a good toad voice, but uh, it's fine. They're, all toads are different. You're a toad from the castle? How long have you been hiding in here? Well, since Bowser took over, I was so scared of being caught that I jumped into this closet. I'm hiding here until Mario comes and saves us all. <clears throat> That's not, it's not good on my voice right now. Sorry. <laughs> Princess Peach, you ought to hide too. It's risky out there. Please don't take any chances. I'm very competent. I was in Super Mario Bros. 2, which is canonically a dream. Had she been a hero in anything else up to this point? I don't think so. <laughs> well, I got a badge out of that, at least. And, you know, tiny amount of human connection. Mushroom connection. There's the kitchen, which means there's a room I could have checked but didn't. <laughs> well, here's the kitchen. So, what shall we do first? I remember this being weird. <laughs> Princess Peach, this looks like a good cookbook. Let's use it, okay? That was just the only one you could see the cover of. <laughs> How's it look, Twink? Anything look really yummy? Always asking my twink that. Hang on a second. Oh, how about this? Special strawberry cake. Sounds good. Let's whip one up. Okay, twink, read me the recipe. Well... Okay, please listen carefully. First, put sugar and eggs in a bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. When you finish, let me know. We'll move on to the next step. Sugar and eggs. Oh, it's telling me. Thank you. Because these look identical. Sugar. Put down the sugar. Okay, I've got to do it one at a time. This is, in fact, a bowl. Yes, thank you. All right. I think we're good there. Done. They really want me to make sure, huh? Trying to sneak around, but the clap of my twink's ass cheeks keeps learning the cards. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next step then. Now, mix and whip the ingredients in the bowl. Okay, can I just walk up and do... Oh, yeah. All set? When I say start, press A as fast as you can for 10 seconds to mix the batter. Okay, all right, pretty minigame. Do an action commands, baby. That's Mario Kart music. <laughs> That's it! Great job! Did it go well, Princess Peach? I'm gonna pray it did. I mean, I slowed down just a teeny bit when I was arranging it to make sure the controller was in frame. Okay, let's go on to the next step then. Now, put flour and butter in the bowl. Go ahead, Princess Peach. Let me know when you're done. All right, flower over here. I love following directions. Flower and butter, that's cream. All right. 
I'm pretty sure there are really funny bits if you uh, intentionally make a really bad dish and give it to the gourmet guy, but you can tell that would take a pretty long time to commit to that bit. Pour it in the pan. Very sorry, sometimes I do have limits for the bit. <laughs> all right, it's all in the pan. On to the next step. Now, bake the batter in the oven for 30 seconds. This is the part I remember. You have to do this in your head. Okay, head over to the oven. <laughs> you can put the cake in the oven with A. Press A again when you think 30 seconds has passed, then take the cake out of the oven. I kind of want to... How can I set a stopwatch without me... Set and start a stopwatch without me actually looking at it? Because I... Would like to know exactly how much I did... Guess here. Because I feel like I'm not going to do well. I say again when you think 30 seconds has passed to take the cake out of the oven. Okay. You can't redo this part, so be extra careful. <laughs> I'm gonna burn the hell out of this thing. Or more likely undercook it. Alright. Okay, please put it in the oven. One, two, three. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Mississippi, Mississippi. Thirty. I totally screwed up on the stopwatch. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's okay. Could have had you time it for me. <laughs> Put the cake on the table to cool for a minute. If you're more than one second off, you fail. <laughs> okay, this is the last thing to do. Bolded, or in white with an outline, we're gonna decorate it with cream and strawberries. Let me know when you're all finished decorating. Okay, I assume I can just grab those separately and put them on. Everything here is just following directions and then count to 30 in your head. <laughs> ah, that's the butter. I was about to screw that up. That would have sucked if that's what killed me. <laughs> All right. Done? Yeah. Yes, we made it. It looks great. Okay, let's take this to Gourmet Guy. He's gonna be really mad when I've undercooked it by one second. And now I have to walk with this. Oh, really? Okay. It takes me, it takes me straight there. It's <laughs> gonna be really worried. Here you go. Oh, I've been waiting so long. I've wasted away to nothing. No, buddy, I promise your tits are still massive. <laughs> Thank you! Oh! 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 Delicious! This is way too delicious! Um, I don't like the noise here. I don't like what the noise implies here. Whew! That was really good. I haven't felt this way since. Oh. Earlier this chapter! To show you my gratitude, I'll tell you a secret. One of the star spirits is inside Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. This island is to the south. You should tell this to Mario. You should tell this to Mario! <laughs> <laughs> 
That's that's way funnier than just telling me a secret for the juicy gossip. Just you gave me a cake so good. I uh, Mario also gave you a cake so good. You know what? All right, he's repaying the favor. But you better tell him that there's also a nasty piranha guarding the star spirit. You'd better be careful. I really don't dislike Mario. That's why I'm telling you this. I really don't dislike him. He's a pretty swell guy. He would say swell. I may be projecting. <laughs> Twink, did you hear that? Mount Lava Lava. Lava Lava Island. Star spirit's being held inside that volcano. Mario could really use this information, huh? Yes, he could. Twink, I'm sorry that I keep asking you to do this stuff, but can you go tell Mario? Of course I will. I'll do it right now. And leave you alone in this room while Bowser finds you instantly because there was a guy jumping up and down and screaming here. I'll be back soon, Princess Peach. What's with all the shouting? Keep it quiet in here. Oh, it's not Bowser. It's Kami Koopa. Go tell Mario. Go <laughs> tell Mario. <laughs> so, it was you, Princess Peach. You've got to keep it down. You're a prisoner. And as a prisoner, you need to keep... What? What are you doing out of your room anyway? Yeah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> Guards, get the princess! Will you let me go if I if I snitch on Gourmet Guy? <laughs> And we, can we trade information for my freedom? <laughs> Muscular. <laughs> Phew, ah, fresh air. Oh, you just took a strain to Toad Town. This is weird for some reason, seeing a, seeing a star spirit directly in Toad Town. After being cooped up in there for so long, I could really use some outdoor exercise. My name is Muscular. Mario, I must thank you for saving me. Now it's my turn to help you. <sighs> Behold! I, 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 the framing really doesn't work for me to do this bit where I'm just constantly flexing every time I speak as him. Behold! Is this gonna be something about boosting my attack power? What is your special power gonna be? Mario's star energy goes up to four. Mario can now use chill out, a new star spirit power. You can lower the attack power of all enemies. That's the about the opposite of what I was thinking, but also pretty cool. Call on me whenever you find yourself in trouble. I'll always come quickly to aid you in battle. Now, I'm going back to my dear old star haven. Mario! Oh, everyone, everyone chilling together here. All right. It's because he gave me chill out. Mario, Mario, I have news. News from the castle. <gasps> Honorable Star Spirit. Hi. Hmm. I believe you are Twink, no? I don't know what, vo I, I have not landed on a voice for him. <laughs> He's a sailor. You're that recent, you're that youngster who recently ascended from Starborn Haven up to Star Haven. <coughs> Do not have that in me right now for some reason. Arr, can't go too deep in the, in the throat. What? You remember my name? <laughs> Why, of course, we're like family. I, I, I'm so touched. Ho, 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 don't make such a fuss, lad. I'm sure you'll go on to do great things. I must take my leave now. Goodbye, Twink, Mario. <laughs> wow, I talked with Muscular, the honorable star spirit. I rarely have such a chance even at Star Haven. I'm shaking. Twink, Mario? So, Luigi. <laughs> True. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry, I have some important news from the castle. According to the information Princess Peach and I got, through no bribery at all, it seems that one of the honorable star spirits is being held at Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. You wouldn't believe what the princess went through to get this information. You always say that? This time it was just cooking, a, it, baking a cake. I hope it will be of help. Now, if I failed that, then yeah, I would have been like, that's the worst that she's had to do so far. 
Going to rejoin Princess Peach now. Mario, as always, good luck. The princess and I will keep looking for useful information. All right, that's that. Feeling pretty good. All right, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Made it to almost two hours anyway. Feeling pretty all right. And we got ourselves a new party member. What is really great. I love what. <laughs> For one, having an, an, an enemy, having a partner that uh, completely ignores uh, defense is great. Having a partner that paralyzes enemies is great. And having a party member that is just a straightforward, here are the secret collectibles. That's also really good. So I'm excited and you should be too. All right, we're gonna go ahead and call it for the night. Thank you for joining me. Next time, we're gonna roam around Toad Town again as we do between chapters and we're going to do our silly little chores. Uh, with 20 HP, I'm feeling a little more confident in a run at the master. A little more confident. That's not to say I feel confident. I think there's a certain threshold I gotta pass before it's officially confidence with a capital C, but you know. So we're gonna do our chores for Koopa Koot. We're gonna mail some letters. We're gonna do all the things. So thank you for joining me. We're gonna do all that next time, which will be Monday. That's the plan. If it doesn't pan out, keep an eye on the Twitter. I'll let you know. All right, see y'all later. We're gonna take us a wee little sleep. I don't care that I'm in fine shape. It's 8.30 p.m. I'm 64. You know, that wasn't supposed to be a Nintendo joke, if you could believe it, but you know. All right, the screen's black, gotta go. <laughs> the bit doesn't work if I don't make the transition as soon as it goes to black. Sorry. <laughs>